USA Cycling is a formidable organization. They certainly put on a ton of events throughout the year. This one is one of the newest and certainly one of the most special and of course very close to the hearts of cyclists in the western United States here in the mountains. We're going to take a look at all of the categories and all of the racing on a very windy day for the USA Cycling Fat Bike Championship. National Fat Bike Championships USA Cycling. Alex, great day. Congratulations on your win. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. How about the winds? We're, we still have a sample of the winds. How was it out on the course? Oh, it was crazy out there. It was uh, either a really strong tailwind, and then we had some crazy crosswinds um, causing us to almost come to standstill. And we had snow blowing across the course. Um, There's a few spots it was even hard to stay on the course. So yeah, it, was, uh, it really made it hard to get away because Rob and I were pretty evenly matched, and with that wind, I mean, one guy would try to attack, but the, you could jump right in the draft, and it was hard to get away, so kept the race close and came down to the finish. Tough to attack hard when a lot of energy output doesn't necessarily lead to any separation in the field. Yeah, exactly, and uh, you know, we, we sort of were working a bit together for a couple laps, because we knew that if we'd stay ahead of the third place guy, we could see him chasing. Um, so we had a bit of a mutual agreement there just to kind of get get to the third lap and uh, you know came down to the last corner. And always, always that sprint after all that cooperation, then it's every man for himself. Yeah, we duked it out there on the last on the last climb and we were trading the lead and back and forth, back and forth, and you know we went flying to the last corner and Rob went down and I I held on around the outside and worked out. It's all about that Stars and Stripes jersey. Congratulations, Thank how was your you. day? It was fantastic. Everything felt great. The course was fun. The wind was amazing to handle. Blew me off course a time or two. Did you have some, some cooperation out there? Was it every lady for themselves? You know, so the start, we were all together and it was just kind of figuring out. I don't think very many of us had raced against each other. So it was kind of where are you at and then um, at the start of the big climb, I just felt really good and kind of created a little gap and stayed off the front the rest of the race. Psychologically, when you get that gap, does that give you a little extra gas? No, it's actually a total demon for me. It's hard to be off the front. I like to be in the chase and the fray. It's, it's challenging to be off the front for me. So it was a good mental game. Well, one of the most fun things in an event like this is seeing who you'll run into and a fellow who definitely knows what it looks like with the stars and stripes across his shoulders. Marty Jemison, how are you, man? How's your day? Good, it's good. I'm happy I'm here. It was really fun. I'm glad I came out. National championships always has a special feel to it. I think that's why I'm here, you know, is that, it, you know, I knew it was happening. It's in my home state. It's an hour and a half away. Why not? You do any of this fat biking? I don't. I do a lot of mountain biking on snow with my own mountain bike on firm hard pack, but not a fat bike. But it was real fun to be here today. And you know, I, I heard some of the stories about the race course, and I was really, really into hearing Cole House talk about it and Jonathan Page talk about it, but there were, that they had actual road Belgian experience here with the echelons. And uh, I kind of like hearing that. And you know, and some of the guys want to see more technical courses, but. You know, it's it's cool to see that road tactics, road skills come into play. Very cool, and like you say, with the wind like this today, and yeah. we have a little bit of a reprieve right now, but yeah. some really heavy gusts, you almost have to, to get in line and get that echelon going. Yeah, and Alex Grant, Grant and Rob Squire are talking about at a certain point, these are the two guys at the front of the race, the wind was so hard they came to almost to a dead standstill where drafting didn't even matter. So that's very much like Belgian pro racing in the gutter. So I think, you know, pros, cons, as is the course and the wind, but it's all bike racing, skills from road biking, mountain biking, cyclocross, fat bikes now. It's all kind of coming into play. And I think a lot of you guys were talking about their skill set and how just all of it makes sense and all of it, it works. Well, the wind's been blowing like crazy, and it certainly had an estimable effect on the results today. Racers having to deal with headwinds, crosswinds, and of course, always some tailwinds as well. That being said, crowning champions right across all of the age group categories, and of course, at the top of the peak, all of the professionals as well. For everybody at Park City Television, I'm Terry Burton from USA Cycling's Fat Bike National Championships here at Powder Mountain.